Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. The question given below is an interesting one in Mathematics N3 whereby you are supposed to make t the subject of the formula and if you look at t you can see that t is an exponent and you have got e and um if you can analyze this question actually the moment you're given e you must introduce logarithms or what we call lin so that you can get rid of that exponent but now let us look how you can approach that. This is an example that uh, was taken from a previous question paper. So the first part, um, there are actually many different ways of approaching this one. So I will also um, show you maybe two methods of how you could have approached this, but any other method is also correct. So how do we go about that one? The first thing I'm, uh, I'm, I'm tempted or I want to do is to get rid of this 0, 0,1 because this 0, 0,1 is separate. So for me to get rid of this 0, 0,1, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both sides. Remember what you do on the left, you also do on the right. Let us expand that so that it can be clear. So what you do on the left, you also uh, do on the right. So now if I can divide by 0, 0,1 and I divide by 0, 0,1, you can see that that right hand side is uh, taken care of. Remember, we're interested in the big T in this case. So what I'll be having, I'll be having T over 0, 0,1 is equal to e to the exponent 900 over t so that was the main part and when you have done that as i said you need to know now the lesson on logarithms and you can visit our lesson logarithms it can be much easier for you to uh, simplify it at this stage so i'm going to introduce on both sides lean so I'm going to say lean t over 0, 0,1 is equal to, again, lean e 900 over t. I didn't introduce logs because the moment I'm given e, then I can simply use lean. Even if you wanted to use logarithms, it's still fine. Um, it was uh, still going to give you the same answer. But because I'm just uh, working with lean, I can just, int I mean with E, I can just introduce lean. Now, you need therefore to know the laws in this case. There are laws of uh, logarithms. So you can see if you are given lean T over 0, 0,1, it's like a given in this case. The law says a uh, log M over N is equal to log m minus log n remember the assumption here is that everything is in base 10 so that is uh one law that you need to know it will work in this case of t over 0 comma 1 and also the second law says if you are given log m to the power of n is equal to the n will come this side so that you will have m log i mean not m in this case it is n because it is the n that is going to drop down 
so you will have n log m and as i said the base in this case is 10 so using these two laws the law in this case i'm going to use on the left hand side i'm going to apply this law and then on the right hand side i will apply this particular law so for me to do that i will then have in this case lean t minus lean 0 comma 1 is equal to now you can see that this is one thing 900 over t as an exponent so i will have 900 over t and then lean e now you can take a calculator just just want to show you something if you with a calculator here i can say there is my lean if i can say lean and then i need e it's shift there is the e now the power there is it's power one because any number without a power is power one so if i can do that close the bracket you will see what is giving me you see it is giving me a one so what it means is here there is a base in there of e and if you remember again the law which says log in base 10 of 10 is equal to 1 or sometimes you can change the base and actually you can put and say log in base a of a is equal to 1 so lin e of e also in the same case here it this is equal to 1 so you have now lin t minus lin 0 comma 1 is equal to 900 over t times 1 they will give you a mark for you to be able to that you're able to recognize that it is very important now when you've done that now the next part that is important is for you to recognize that you have a fraction on the right hand side so you can actually write it like this now lin t minus lin 0 comma 1 over 1 is equal to 900 over t so that um fraction on the left hand side fraction on the right hand side the main reason for that is you want to cross multiply such that the top of one side multiplies the bottom of the other side so in this case the t here which we are interested in will multiply the top which is lin t minus lin 0 comma 1 is equal to 900 times 1 which is in this case it will simply be 900 now when you've done that remember don't lose the focus we are interested in making t the subject of the formula so don't be tempted now to expand and open that bracket you have already gotten your answer whereby you can simply divide both sides in this case by what you don't want here is lin t minus lin 0 comma 1 so don't be tempted now that you want to expand and you want to expand that it will actually make you go in circles you just have to go straight to the answer now what you do on the left you also have to do on the right such that that goes that goes then you see now you have got your t now which has been separated and with that you will have then if i can just write it in a bigger space you can see now that therefore your t is equal to 900 all over uh, it is lean in this case it is lean t minus lean 0 comma 1 so you can see how you can make t in this case you have made t the subject of the formula so as i said this was one way of doing it there are other ways you could have followed and i'm tempted actually to show you that other other part if i can do this um 
just in brief i might not get the whole of it but i just want to show you something you could have done as an alternative method to that so what comes in my mind is you could actually let me use a different pen you could have actually as i said it's also correct to introduce locks someone can pre uh, choose to work in locks you could have said automatically from this part lock but now since you are having an e here you must work in log base e so log base e of t is equal to log and then you write your 0 comma 1 e to the power 900 over t this will still give you the answer it's just that it will become like uh, a little bit more of um kind of a bit clumsy but not really clumsy but it can actually give you some confusions yeah remember this is log e but you need as long as you understand what you're doing you will follow up so when you have done that you now uh have to recognize that 0 comma 1 is multiplying there and when it's multiplying remember logarithm says you can write this as log in base e of t is equal to log in base e of 0 comma 1 plus remember that part plus log in base e of e to the power 900 over t so that is that and you can therefore take because of the equal sign the log uh, 0 comma 1 they can jump so that you can have it to change from positive to negative minus log base e of 0 comma 1 is equal to and remember the concept i mentioned about the power this power will drop such that it will become 900 over t log base e of e just like uh, we did the same in this part we said log base a of a is equal to one you can see that now we are having a same scenario that that log base e of e will become one such that you will have in this case you can see that it actually follows the similar method so we are going to have now um it will be log base e of t minus log base e of 0 comma 1 is equal to 900 over t remember this one is again we said this is over 1 in this case so you can do the same concept that you did whereby uh we cross multiplied that multiply that and that multiply that and then if you follow that you'll see that we are back into this stage so this particular stage now it is now this particular stage and the rest as you remember will then take us back to the value of t there so basically it is the answer the same answer that you're going to get in that part so this is how you can make t the subject of the formula so when t is an exponent like this what we have here when t is an exponent you introduce logs or in that case it was lean i hope this was of benefit to you if you uh, benefited from the lesson you can also subscribe to our channel or press the like button we will greatly appreciate and thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 
N2, N3, as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.